Hello again, loves Lady Pubba with Public Gaming, and this is the last episode for 2017, where I just like to talk to you guys about my favorite comments I got this year, my favorite games of this year, what happened this year, and just where Pelvic Gaming is going. So a lot of great things happened for Pelvic Gaming this year. First, in January, I got featured by Afropunk. Um, it was just a picture of me on Instagram, but it had like all of my nerd background. I was wearing a nerd dress, like my Zelda dress. So when I saw it was featured, I definitely plugged my channels like, hey guys. <laughs> so I got a huge bump from that. So then in February, my reviewer senpai Pro Jared of Normal Boots noticed me. He had some nice things to say to me via Twitter, and he's plugged me multiple times. And if you go on his channel right now, you'll see on his You Should Check These Guys Out section, I'm there. And that was just really nice because I did gain a nice little following from that. Also, Gerard, the completionist, retweeted it, so it just, it all helped. And later, Gerard ended up following me on Twitter after I met him at E3, so I was like, yay! So, pro Jared, Gerard, thank you. You guys have such a huge following, so to, like, kind of put my name out there is, is very nice. And then in March, Jamie Koala of Koala Art Design had me be one of her models for her website. And she has a bunch of nerd apparel. You guys all have seen me wear them as... I'm wearing them in all of my thumbnails. So that was really nice. I was like literally the first person you saw on her page and it just meant so much because I contacted her in 2015 asking to be a model and she didn't have any opening. She was very polite about it, no problem. And then this year she contacted me being like, hey, I'm from Illinois, but I will ship you these if you in good faith just take some pictures and send them to me. And we did and it's great. I got clothes and she got pictures. I know Christmas has passed, but still if you're looking for some nerdy apparel, definitely check her stuff out. I can vouch for it, I buy her stuff all the time. Link is in the description below. Then later, Hard For Games, a 36,000 subscriber channel, hit me up and was like, hey, do you want to collab? And I was like, yeah, I would love to do that. So we did kind of our thoughts, commentary on a Wind Waker beta. So you should definitely check that out. I'm letting you know now, my audio is awful, sorry. But still, check them out, check out that video, and I would love to know your thoughts on it. So thank you, Tony and the Hard For Games crew for literally taking a chance on a small channel like myself. I really appreciate that and of course i went to e3 this year it was magical i did a whole video on that check that out and i'm thinking about going next year i'm still debating but i'm pretty sure i will so next let's talk about my favorite game of this year it's no secret near bootylicious automata all right i know some of you guys are like really not zelda zelda was good i love breath of the wild it did fantastic but Nier Automata is just a game I can't stop thinking about. I can't stop crying over, I can't stop smiling over, I can't stop laughing over, I can't stop thinking about that game. It was just so amazing. And if you haven't played that game, it's incredible. It was robbed for not even having a nomination, you know, uh, being not even being a nominee for the game of the year. Like I, It was that PUGB, I don't know, Battleground, I don't, I don't fucking, I don't care. I'm stupid. You know, the fact it wasn't a nominee is what bothered me. Because Nier Automata wasn't a nominee, my vote went to Mario Odyssey, even though Zelda won. But Mario Odyssey is my second favorite game of this year. It was just, it was so much fun. I, <laughs> I had so much fun with that game. You know, if a game isn't fun, who fucking cares about the story, graphics, whatever. You know, a game at its core is supposed to be fun. And Mario Odyssey was simply that. Then following that would be Breath of the Wild and Persona 5. And that's really all I got. Games I'm looking forward to in 2018 are simply Octopath Traveler and Kingdom Hearts 3. Allegedly. So literally this year for gaming was just straight fire and pelvic gaming had a really prosperous year this year And speaking of you guys I'm going to read comments that I got this year from you guys and just kind of respond and I, I always like this kind of thing I just like talking to you guys. So here we go. Gi Masam art. I like your presentation style It's like fangirl, but honest fangirl. You're not telling me everything's going to be amazing You're being honest about the pricing and expectations. Thank you. And this is from my Nintendo switch presentation video and uh, you're welcome and thank you. Um, honesty is important, integrity is important. I feel people can tell when other people are bullshitting, you know, it's like, oh, she doesn't really care about that. She's just saying this for views or anything. You know what I mean? It's, it's, I like what I like and then I don't like what I don't like. I'd rather you guys hate me for someone who I am than love me for someone who I am not. Los Games, you're beautiful and have very nice videos. Just don't say bad words and your videos will be more professional. Smiles. One love. Um, thank you, and cursing is just who I am. <laughs> I love cursing. You think I curse a lot in my videos? Oh my gosh, see me in real life. Woo, I, just, I say all sorts of words. If you watch my Let's Play channel, I mean, I, I say it all. I don't give a fucking fuck. 
YouTube at this point in time is just a hobby. Like if I get a professional career out of it, cool, then I'll adjust accordingly. But right now it's just for me, myself and I, and for my viewers. I understand there's a time to be professional and there's a time to be goofy. You know, if I met Reggie Filasame, president of Nintendo North America, I wouldn't be like, yo, what the fuck is up? What shit's going down on Nintendo? Like, no, I would not say that to him. Now, if I met Yoko Taro, I probably wouldn't say that first, but I definitely would probably slip the F-bomb in there, like in casual conversation. But there's also a language barrier, so I probably wouldn't try to say slick shit and be funny and disrespect Yoko Taro. Although I don't think he would find it disrespectful considering all the crazy shit he says. For my last Guardian video, Mr. Zamberto15 came for the reviews, stayed for Lady Pelvic. That means a lot and thank you because I do believe most people are like, oh, I want to know more about Xenoblade Chronicles. So they Google Xenoblade Chronicles, my video comes up. They don't give a shit about me. They don't know who I am. They don't know my personality. They're just like, what is this game about? And then if I explain it well enough and my delivery is good, then they're like, she's pretty good. What, what else you got going on? So I feel like the reviews are what grab people. And then if they like my pelvic flavor, then they stay. And thank you for staying. My Xenogears review, first last. Now that's what you call dedication. You kept with it until the end, even if it wasn't your thing. Um, yeah, Xenogears, I don't, I don't hate it, but it's definitely not my favorite. I don't have that nostalgia. I don't have that love for it as many people do, but I'm not a quitter for the most part. There was Drakengard 3, but to be fair, the final boss was stupid. It doesn't, fuck, it doesn't matter. Point is, I try to stick with games to the very end unless they are unbearable. There's a handful of games that I have not beaten because I personally have stopped. And I think that's Drakengard 3, Final Fantasy X, Legend of Zelda, Phantom Hourglass. I literally got to the final boss on each one of these. Yeah, and Legend of Legacy. Those are the four I can think of. Oh, I lied, and Chain of Memories. Fuck that, I played that game twice. Twice. Got stuck at the fourth Riku. No, not doing it. Fuck your card system. TRC Sonic. Girl, you're pretty good. Your reviews have always helped me a lot. I'm in love with The World Ends With You because of you. Open mouth smiley face. These comments make me so happy. Like, as an influencer, it's nice to know I'm influencing. So thank you for that. Always let your reviewers know how you influence them because it means the fucking world to us. GTA Bro 1337. Girl, did these lipsticks grow on trees? I can't even count anymore how many you have. Open mouth smiley face. Yeah, I love lipsticks a lot. Top five video game characters I'd invite to my birthday party. Severe outcome. You're a beautiful woman with an awesome personality. Your style and swagger is unique and down to earth. Keep growing and most importantly, have fun and enjoy your journey. Thank you very much and I try to be me like I I don't really think I have like a hardcore gimmick on this channel yeah and enjoying the journey is very important for me because this as I said is a hobby for me at this point in time one thing I keep in mind is I have to be enjoying myself you know I have to be enjoying the games I want to play I know that you guys want me to play Berseria but I know if I play it I'm going to be biased and I'm not going to enjoy it and it's going to like affect the way I review the game you know, so I know there's a bunch of games that you guys want me to play, but if I'm not in the mood to play that game, I'm not going to play it. I'm not going to enjoy it. It's just going to hinder everyone's experience. My Persona 5 video. Portals of Madness. I love your reviews because you mention a lot of little things that most reviewers don't, like explaining the game, also available for PS3, etc. And also how to explain which games in the series you've played before. Also, you're beautiful. Tongue face? Mm. First of all, thank you. And I try to talk about things that most mainstream reviewers don't because the little things deserve attention too, you know? Like in Gravity Rush 2, they have so many beautiful NPCs, like diverse NPCs, and I'm like, hell yeah. Like, this is awesome. You know, it's just, it's just give the game credit where credit is due. You know, notice the small things, appreciate the small things. And as for like reference points of what games I've played in that series, yeah, it's just that. It's a good reference point. When I reviewed Final Fantasy IX, I've played X and I played X when it first came out. I was like 14 or some shit like that. Just to give you guys an understanding, if I mess up in this Final Fantasy IX review or I miss something, like Final Fantasy IX had a lot of Easter eggs to my understanding. I caught two of them, arguably three. So it's just kind of a reference point and so you guys would understand like, ah, she wouldn't have known this if this is her first Final Fantasy, you know? So we're all just kind of on the same page. This is from my top five video game horror locations from Kagami Saito. 
But yes, you should do a Mario Odyssey review. I love to hear your perspective. I like watching your reviews for games I don't even have interest in, lol. Another very important comment. Thank you so much. That means actually a lot. You guys value my opinion on games you don't give a flying fuck in, you know? Like, that's incredible. You know, thank you for the view. Thank you for your time. Thank you for just, you know, listening. That's, that's awesome. Big Z. Not going to lie, I started watching these videos because I thought Lady Pelvic was really hot. I feel like you're not alone in that sentiment, friend. <laughs> but now I always look forward to her videos whenever she uploads because her content is just so good. I just wish they weren't so few and far between. I know I talked to you about this like via comments, but just so everyone here knows, I am a one woman army. That means I play the game and the games I play are primarily JRPGs, which are 80 to 100 hours long, you know, depending on how long you take with side quests and grinding and all that sort of thing. So then after I play the game, I have to write an outline and I have to research it, try to make it as accurate as possible. Then afterwards I record and I film and then I edit. And then after I edit, I export and upload. And then even after the video is released, I have to do social media work on it. I have to promote it. I have to respond to comments. And that's a lot of work. <laughs> and I know you guys want content, but I try not to rush the games I'm playing because I want to enjoy and bask in their glory or their awfulness, one of the two. <laughs> and I know if I try to pump out videos every day or every other day, one, the quality will get worse, two, I'll burn myself out, and then I won't want to make videos. So please bear with me. And this is the final comment that I got from my Legend of Mana review. Big Yayuda 64 So do you actually like games or are you capitalizing on being a good looking woman? Okay. <laughs> this is a backhanded compliment. I don't know if you're being sarcastic or not, but for you or for anyone who genuinely doubts that I like video games, if you have watched almost any of my non-mainstream video game reviews, I'm talking about Le uh, Legend of Legacy, I'm talking about um, Lost Dimension, you know, niche games, and you really in your heart of heart still believe I'm not a gamer girl, a person who likes video games, however you want to title it. I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Then like, there, there's nothing I could do to convince you that I like video games. For those who do believe I actually like video games and I'm not trying to appease you penis wielders out there, thank you. And that sums that up. Thank you guys so much for being here with me this year. I hope you guys enjoyed all the content I put out. I'm going to try to put out more. Let me know in the comments, what else do you want to see from me? You know, some of you guys say walkthroughs, but walkthroughs aren't really my thing. I'm not gonna lie, walkthroughs. I'm gonna try to be more faithful to my Let's Play channel. It's a personal goal of mine. I'm, I'm trying, just it's hard to balance playing my main game, you know, for the review, and then doing a Let's Play, so I'm, I'm trying. The first review of next year will be my Xenoblade Chronicles 2 review. The game I'm currently playing is Sweet Code in 2. You guys have begged for it, so it is yours to have. Just for the record, I'm in love with it. I'm only five hours in, but I'm absolutely in love. Also, let me know what video games you're looking forward to next year. Thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Mwah. My top box is actually my 2016 wrap up for Pelvic Gaming. If you like this one, be sure to check that one out. And my bottom box is my Let's Play channel. I'm going to try to be more faithful to it, I promise. Love you. Also, I didn't get any dick pics this year. Good job, guys. I mean, the year's not over, but, but please don't send me any dick pics.